Happy holidays, friends. It is the Christmas season. And yes, it is time to be making Christmas goodies and treats for your friends and family. And that is what we're going to be doing today. Now, a lot of people stay away from fudge. Fudge is complicated. I can't tell you how many times my mom tried to perfect my great Aunt Helen's chocolate fudge recipe. She only made it right one time and the rest of the years we just called it sludge because that is what it came out. It just always became Christmas sludge. <laughs> so instead of fudge. So I am going to show you a super simple, easy way to make fudge. It is literally three ingredients. You need your chocolate chips, one can of sweetened condensed milk, and a skosh of vanilla. And of course, if you wanna to top it, you can top it with sprinkles. I have a little variety of sprinkles over here. You can top it with nuts, candy canes, which I might do with these. So really do like top them with whatever you want. This is just the basic base recipe. I have gotten this recipe years ago from the Baker's Brand Chocolate Cookbook. I've been making it ever since. And as I was converting all of my cake decorating videos over to this channel from my vlog channel, um, I haven't did an updated version. I did a video on this in 2018. And I said, no, I need to do an updated version because you couldn't even see what the hell I was doing. So let's just stop yakking and let's get this video underway okay so first thing you are going to want to do is you are going to want to measure out your chocolate here i'm using reese's peanut butter chips for peanut butter fudge because who does not love a good peanut butter fudge i know most of my friends um they always seem to prefer peanut butter fudge over most fudges. So this is supposed to be 10 ounces. So we're gonna dump this whole bag in here. And it is exactly 10.2. Let's make sure we get all that peanut buttery goodness in there. And then, oh my God, it smells so good. I wish you guys could see this. And then you're gonna make this 14 ounces. We're at 12, 13, 40, 54, 65, 83, 14. Should I take a couple out? 14 exactly, can you guys see that? 14 on the nose. All right. Okay, so let's scooch this out of the way. And let's get this can open. Okay. And we are just going to pour this right over okay so now that you have this all in the same bowl, we're gonna microwave this. Okay, so I just took this out of the microwave. I put it in there for two minutes. I know how my microwave is. So now we're gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla. I think I'm just gonna do like one, one and a skosh. And then, you're just gonna mix this up.
Okay, so let me grab my pan. <laughs> I just scared my cat. Okay, so here's my pan. And I'm just gonna start pouring this in here. ugly Christmas sweater um, sprinkles to this. I think it would be super cute. And then I'm just gonna let me wipe my spatula off a little bit. And then just kind of pat them down so they're like actually on it and they don't fall off. Okay, there we go. So our sprinkles are on. Now we're going to sit this in the refrigerator and let this chill for two hours. So while this is chilling, we are going to go and we are gonna make our other fudges and I will come back later. It won't be later for you, obviously. It'll be in the same video. And we are gonna cut our fudge. Okay, friends, it has been two hours. Here is the peanut butter fudge, the milk chocolate fudge, and the mint chip fudge. Let us, I'm gonna pull this one out. Now I've already kind of pulled it out a little bit because I ripped the foil. And I'm gonna pull this away from the sides, like so. Look at that, look at that fudge. Nice solid piece. Look. It looks good, looks good, looks good. And then um, I think I'm gonna get a bigger, do I need a bigger knife? Nah, I can use this. And then you just slice it on up. Just like that. Ta-da! So now I'm gonna do that for the rest of this.
Okay, friends, so I am just popping on here because I am struggling with the mint. It did not come together. And as you guys saw, I used all the same ingredients, like the same measurements. I measured everything out. I don't know if it's because these aren't like actual chocolate chips, if you know what I mean. Um, I mean, it was in the fridge the same amount of time. I even pop this in the microwave, but this is like the fudge my mom used to make that we used to call sludge because it was just so thick and like sludge like because <laughs> it's kind of like mud I'm trying to like double check and make sure that there isn't any um like uh aluminum foil in there but I'm just like these are kind of like definitely melting a little bit so I don't know <laughs> I really can't, I don't know. I think I'm gonna put these back in the refrigerator to be honest. I'm gonna put this one back in the fridge. Maybe even put it in the, I don't know if I'll put it in the freezer. But um, I think I'm just gonna let this harden up a little bit. I'll put these in the tins for um, work and everything. So I made this one particularly for the teachers that I work with. So um, this one's gonna go to work with me in my classroom, but this one is um, for hubby's job. So I'm not gonna put too many of these in here because I feel like they would rather have um, either the chocolate or the peanut butter. So I'm not going to add any more of that to here. And then this tin is for wifey's job, which is a bunch of nice ladies. So I am going to put some in this tin like that. Um, can I squeeze this little one in here? Oh, that's got two. There's a little one right there. Okay, so I have this tin done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this back in the fridge and just leave it as is. And I'm gonna stack these back up. So I am definitely gonna put this back in the fridge and just let it set and do whatever it needs to do. I think it's because these were baking chips and not or baking bits and not chips, if that makes any sense. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys hopefully soon. I have some videos coming up that I'm super excited for you guys to see. And yeah, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Have a great one and thanks for watching. Bye. All right, friends, just to wrap up this video, I wanted to show you the total cost. Um, it cost me a grand total of $6.88 to make the Reese's peanut butter fudge. You get a lot out of it. So for $6.88, you can make some tins of fudge. No problem. You got that. Um, if you are using just the great value brand chocolate chips, the total cost for the chocolate fudge will range between $6.22 and $6.88. It just depends on the size of the bag. There are two. Walmart has two different size bags. You can get the big bag, the 23 ounce for $4.24 or the small one for $2.32, but you would need two bags. And the mint sludge. <laughs> The total was that was the most expensive one at $7.60 and it didn't even work. I should have put some regular chocolate chips in with it. Maybe I might have to try that again. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. And remember, Christmas calories don't count. Have a Merry Christmas. Yes.